Hi, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to add an MP4 video in Explained Your project in EVC 3.0. If you're new to Explained Your, I'd recommend that you watch at least these two tutorials to get a better understanding of how to use the new user interface and timeline. Alright, so let's dive right in. So the first thing you need to do is either open a new project or create a new one. Next, you need to create a scene. And you'll see a blank canvas like this with this tool by the bottom that allows you to add various types of elements to the canvas like text, images, graphics, as well as videos. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add videos. So click this add video button at the bottom to add a video. And then click this option to add a video from a computer. Navigate to the respective folder and then choose a video and then click open. Allow Explained You to process the video. Sometimes this process can take a few minutes, so be patient. Then check this box at the bottom if you do not want the video to sketch first, and then click Add. You will then see the video on the canvas, and you can use these buttons to full screen the video. And I'll show you that in a moment, but you can also add a video as a background. So let me quickly show you that first. So you have to first close the canvas, and under the Scene tab, you can upload your video in this section. And you can check this box if you want to include the audio from the video. Also in this section right here, you can control the audio for the video in the foreground. I generally don't use the audio functionality in Explainedio. I prefer doing this in a video editor. So now let me open the canvas. Adding the video was the easy part. What you do next really depends on your creativity. If you've explored EVC 3.0, you know that it has a variety of animation options. So let me show you some examples, but remember that the possibilities are endless. Okay, so first, let me open the timeline. So when you add an element to the canvas, it creates an entry in the timeline. So we can start by adding an in animation to this video. So you just drop down this little arrow and then click right here where it says add new effect. So I'm going to go down to the animation presets and then I'm going to choose zoom in up. So let's do a quick preview by clicking this preview button. So that's how it shows up. Next, we can apply an animation point by clicking this Add Animation button below. As you can see, it creates a keyframe for the animation. And what I'll do is I'll full screen it using these handles, like so. You will notice this frames box, 24 frames equals one second. So let me do a quick preview. As you can see, the animation happens first and then the animation point. But you would have noticed that it's a little bit fast. So we can increase the number of frames here. Let me change it to 50 and then do a preview again. As you can see, it's much slower and looks a little better. Another example is to use the sketch by hand animation. So let me replace this animation here with sketch by hand. So you can just click the double arrow icon right here and then go to sketch and then sketch by hand. And if we preview the video now, you will see that it sketches first and then it zooms in. But again, you'll notice that the sketch by hand is a little bit too fast. So what you can do is you can extend the slider like so to slow it down a bit. And if you do a preview again, you'll notice that it's a little bit slower. So these are just a couple of examples, but hope you get the point. 
You can use all the animations available, even morph text to the video, like sketch to video. You can also add multiple videos along with the background video. So let me show you this final example. So first let me close the canvas and then in the scene tab, in this area down below, you can essentially add a video background. So I'll just browse through my computer. Let me open the canvas and then I'll remove or delete this animation point. And then I'll add another video to the canvas from my computer. So I'll choose Don't Sketch and then Add. And then you'll see that there are two videos on the canvas. I'll delete this sketch by hand. You can obviously add whatever animation you want to in here. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And let's do a quick preview. As you can see, there are multiple videos playing here. One in the background and two in the foreground. This, of course, is not the best example, but hope you get the point. For example, you can create YouTube end slides or outros like this one. There's obviously so much more to it, but hope this helps tap into your creativity. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. You'll find many more explained your tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.